If you guys are looking for super cheap and reliable coins, look no further than my sponsor, MuttReserve.com. They're awesome to work with. They got 24-7 support. Guys, don't waste your money on packs. Hit up the sponsor. Use code Poodle at checkout for 15% off of your entire order. What's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. And today, I'll be going over what could potentially be the first promo in Madden 21. Now, if you guys didn't know, last year, we had a similar promo as the first Madden 20 promo. So... Last year, what they did was, just like this year, they dropped the EA Access, nothing in it, obviously. The thing with the first week of EA Access is that you don't really need content, because the game's a brand new game, so everything feels like just new, everything's new content, so they really don't need much. But they do take to typically like to drop a specific promo or any kind of thing on the opening release, whether it be like just a bundle or some legends or anything. But last year, they dropped a brand new promo called Mutt Superstars. Now, Mutt Superstars was a very, very cool promo. Not gonna, let me play honest with you guys, it was very, very cool. And quite honestly, it felt kind of overpowered to start the year because I'd never experienced anything like it. Now, Mutt Superstars were players with pre-built in abilities and I believe X-Factors, which was super cool because at this time, not many people can afford training or not many people have enough coins to really delve into training right now. So to be able to buy a Mutt Superstar card that can pretty much comes pre-powered up with things on it, was pretty much cool to begin with in terms of what you were able to finally and you were able to finally try abilities because that was brand new and not many people had tried them yet so based on some in-game screenshots and some things we did find in within the madden if you if you dive into power print out and things you've seen there may be a leak pretty much confirming much superstars now i will show you guys that in just a second but before we get into the rest of this video make sure you're down below hit that subscribe button turn that on your boys come join the family give this video a big thumbs up as always and if you haven't already Comment down below, let me know what you think and which Mutt Superstars you would like to see. Now, guys, these Mutt Superstars pretty much just get their abilities. Uh, they were really cool card art. They did drop release night at like 9 o'clock at night. Unexpected. I was actually at a concert, so I, I didn't get to record it last year. So hopefully I'm around this time. I will definitely make sure to open a time slot for the night of the game dropping. But let me go show you guys some of these screenshots, kind of show you what I'm talking about here and kind of give you guys an idea. Now, yes, I am on the PC for all you guys wondering. Um, I'm still locked out of my Mutt account, so... Until that is fixed, I just I can't play on the Xbox right now. But coming on over to Lamar Jackson now. The thing is, if you guys remember from last year, if you ever wanted to see a promo coming, or you ever wanted to see like who was dropping today, or if things were in game or early footage, all you need to check was a card's power. Typically EA preloads. Now they don't preload this early, but typically EA will preload information into the game and just don't drop the content. So like let's say, um let's say uh, Lamar Jackson was getting a 90 overall brand new card in Team of the Week. If you went in right before Team of the Week was confirmed or dropped, and you clicked on his power-up, he would have an option to be powered up to 90 already, and you'd see it, and you'd be like, oh, okay, so that's coming out. The card art wouldn't be there, but you'd pretty much know. So it's kind of a similar thing in how people are discovering this. So if you go to Upgrades for Lamar right now, and you come down, and this isn't just him. There's multiple cards I'll show you in a second. And you go to Front Art. It goes Lamar Jackson Corley, Lamar Jackson Power-up, Lamar Jackson, nothing to see here, achieve 90 overall. And then right here again, nothing to see here, achieve 90 overall. Which pretty much means that this card art cannot be put on till 90 overall. And if you guys do remember last year, the Must Superstars promo was actually 90 overalls and 89 overalls. And it would make sense that Lamar would be one of the higher ones, which is a 90. So he can't get his card until 90 overall. But now, not every card has this. Certain cards do, and all the players make sense. So, again, I don't have screenshots of every guy, just for the simple fact that it's very expensive. You'd have to power them all the way to unlock the card art option here, I'm pretty sure. Or, like, power them up a decent amount. And well, in general, even if you just have to power them up in general, I have no coins on this account, which is very hard to do. But you guys more or less get the point on this Lamar. So a Lamar Mutt Superstar would be pretty amazing. So I go to his attributes, just to show you what a Lamar Superstar would be for the first week. And this would be huge because everyone has a free Lamar. At least a lot of people do. And it's not that expensive. He would have a 90, probably a 91 speed. He'd probably go to a 90 to 91 speed. Well, I think, no, he'd for sure have a 91 speed because he's already powered up. The next card would have at least a 90 so he'd probably have a 91 speed he'd probably end up with go deep you could probably get him up to almost a 90 throw power his medium max short accuracy will come close to a 90 his medium would finally cap 80 his deep would be over 80 throw the range comes to 90 and he would get a ton of abilities and i believe he'd even unlock escape artist for the most part because if you do look here at his upgrades he is able to get uh escape artist at 96 but that is only the second bucket which more than likely means that if he got himself into the third bucket which is what he probably unlock at level 90 he would be able to get it at like a 90 overall so that is exactly what he'll be getting now moving on from that guys some of the other players confirmed that i do have written down right here is ezekiel elliott has one julio jones lamar jackson minka fitzpatrick now guys those are exactly what much superstars was last year it was patrick mahomes 
Lamar Jackson, perfect. Then we had uh, who we have? We had Todd Gurley again. We have Ezekiel Elliott. We had Stephon Gilmore, which would be like the Minka Fitzpatrick. Like it just it just makes sense with the players they're picking too that this would be the first promo, and it would make sense that they follow a, tip, a, a similar build to last year because that's typically what they do. They kind of just find a mold from last year, kind of redo it just in certain different ways, throw a few things in, take a few things out. And that's typically how they've always worked the ultimate team scheme. So I could definitely see this being the first promo of Madden 21. Now I will show you guys in a few minutes, like a few seconds, go over some Madden and show you guys what the superstar promo really entailed. But guys, the beauty of those cards, like I said, where they came pre-built with abilities and X factor. So you, if you came from late Madden 20, you probably don't know what, what, what the, why is that even fun? Because like, you could just get them so easily. Right now, it is super hard to upgrade your guy. To give you a reference point, if you want to go right now and put on, let's just see, let's see, uh, let's go to abilities. If you want to go right now and put on, what's an expensive ability right here? Guys, running backs are super expensive. I don't know if you guys have met, gotten some running back abilities. Those are super expensive, but Lamar's pretty cheap for the most part. But Escape Artist is exactly one that everyone's going to want. That's a thousand five hundred. Thousand five hundred training right now is a lot, a lot of training. It's a lot. Trust me, it's a lot of training. You can go through, you can go through hundreds of K worth of training just trying to upgrade a few, get a few builds on the player. So people, and the other thing is, a lot of people don't know what's good yet. So at least in Madden 20, we knew what was good. We knew you wanted skate bars, and you wanted dash and dead eye conductor. So you were already like, okay, I, I don't mind. I don't mind buying this. Training's cheap. It's easy to get right now. Training, you might just to get this training. You might have to sell like three eighty fives plus some and plus something else. Just get this and one other ability, maybe even more, which adds up very fast. And it's just some of your hard-earned players that you spend money on pack openings for. And then to make it even worse, what if you don't like it? Yes, you can refund them. They have the refund option again this year. But even though you only lose ten percent, ten percent right now is a lot. Again, like if you spend fifty k on my training and you lose ten percent, you lost five k. And five k right now is a lot to a lot of people, especially during the no money spend grind. And being a much superstar, they're gonna come pre-built with like two abilities and an X factor. That's a ton of extra money. Like that makes the cards essentially the card. Like I said last year, if Lamar goes for 250k and he comes with X factor and abilities, you're only worth 100k. You're only spending 100k because the other stuff's the abilities you were gonna put in your Lamar anyways. But guys, about it for that. Let me go over to the mud, uh, mud head screen and show you guys all the mud superstars from last year, so you guys can get an idea of what this looked like. So we are on the mud superstar screen. As you can see here, here are the 90s. We had Luke Kuechly, Todd Gurley, Stephon Gilmore, Patrick Mahomes. And these were the top four. So Patrick Mahomes, just like I said with, um, with Lamar, this is what he comes with. Now, guys, here's the thing. You cannot pick the abilities on him if you buy him base. So what you can do is you can power these up so you can make them into a 91. But when you do power them up, they did lose their abilities and their X factors. So take that in mind that when you do do this, if you do power it up, it ends up being significantly more expensive because you're going to buy them at their... They're at increased price because they come with abilities. So you're going to buy them at an increased price. And you're going to pretty much take away their advantages of that and then go ahead and power them up again. So typically with these cards, I rocked with them for a while before I powered them up. Now in the case of Lamar Jackson, it may be worth powering him up. They don't give him escape arts or something. And because we have his power up, so it kind of just makes sense. But let's say a guy like Mahomes, you have to buy his power up, do all that. But Lamar, we're going to have his power up. They gave it to us. Plus the training quick sell for the bundle of the pre-order bundle. So for Lamar, it's different. But for most players, it's going to be a little bit more expensive than it really should be just because of that. Now moving on to the next few, we do get Lamarcus Lawrence, Odell Beckham Jr., Harris Smith, Zach Ertz, Ben Roethlisberger, AJ Bouye. And then these are, well, these are the lower ones, 85 and below. So all the high ones we got were right here. But their stats were super good. Like Gilmore was a lockdown guy. Now Gilmore's stats are almost as good already this year. So I can only imagine what they might end up giving some players this year. To, uh, we got Mahomes, Gurley, Keekly. I really like this promo. It was a super fun promo. And it was a good bundle to start the year. Now, the bundle wasn't good for pulling players. It was more good for getting play, uh, pieces to build these. These were all self set buildable as well, which was a cool aspect of it. I believe that usually keeps the price down when there's a set available now here's the thing when there's a set it creates a minimum price but it also creates a maximum price which is kind of the beauty of it see if they just drop a bo jackson the game with no set it's just like a regular card he can go for 500k for as long as people want him to until the demand comes down meanwhile with the patrick mahomes in the set form if all the players at minimum go for 220k to build the set you know he's gonna go for there he might go for a little bit more but you know he's gonna have a price range and as those players go down he comes down as well it kind of like correlates but guys, that's about it for the video. I hope you guys did enjoy um, the information here. So it appears this might be our first promo. I would not, and I wouldn't be surprised because last year it also was our first promo. So beyond it being just a leak, it just seems kind of obvious, and it would make sense. And we kind of, I kind of assumed even me and Zerk were talking about this over the summer. This is probably the first promo again, not counting legends and all that stuff, because typically the beginning of the year we get this and we get the kickoff. They don't really drop much in the first month or the first month and a half until the season really starts. But the game did come out later, so there might be a lot more content coming out fast and quick uh, to start the year. But guys, it's about it for the video. 
Hope you guys did enjoy. If you aren't to the channel, hit that subscribe button. Turn that on, but boys, give this video a big thumbs up as always. Let's get this video to 150 likes. Start the day off with some content. Once we're done with this, guys, I do have gameplays planned for you. I think I'm gonna do two today. I'm borrowing someone's account. Big shout out to him, so I can record gameplays while I'm still in the muck gulags. Mad in prison is not fun, fun, but hopefully it all goes well, guys. Thank you for watching the video. Enjoy the rest of your day, and make sure you hit that subscribe button. I'm out. Peace.